Hey guys, this is Julius from Spectrum Topics, and today we are going to be talking about the best villains in gaming. I'm here with Kyle Scott, and today you know we're we're going to be talking about the best villains in the decade. And I chose Voss from Far Cry Three. Kyle, who'd you choose? And I chose Joker from the Arkham City and Arkham Asylum video games. You know the Batman ones that just came out. All right. Uh, so Kyle, why'd you choose uh, Joker as your most the best villain. Well, I, I chose the Joker uh, because in a bunch of games, the villain isn't really looked at as very important uh, character, like a person or a challenge, because it's normally the the uh, campaign that's the challenge, not the actual uh, villain. So I chose the Joker because I thought he was the obstacle that Batman was had to overcome, and uh, he he just was very important, unlike other other characters, like you know, like. Uh, like the uh, the villains you face in like the Call of Duty series, you, you you don't know them, you don't you can't hang on to them, you can't think about them later because you have no idea who they are. Yeah, they have no like, con you don't have any uh, connection. They don't they don't characterize and don't give you a reason to hate who you're fighting against. And and the the Joker, he's he adds kind of fun to games, and he's not really a bland villain like uh some some other bad guys may be like oh you know I'm gonna take over the world or kill some people or just be really boring and have like the, the basic um, bad plot that most people have but the Joker he, he does it for for laughs he does it for an actual purpose and you can just think of him when you're thinking of the game alright and my you know Voss uh, lots of people have played Far Cry 3 which just came out in December 4th 2012 um, what's really interesting about Voss is you can really compare him um, surprisingly enough to the Joker in the Dark Knight movies um, he's not much is known about him. You come into the game, you're captured by him, uh, by Voss. You're uh, you don't have a, really a, a strong backstory. You know where he came from, why he's doing this. And that's what kind of makes him scary. So you don't you know what 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 happened to him that made him want to do this. Um, and what's you know the the famous line from Far Cry Three is, do you know the definition of insanity? In the writing in this game is outstanding, which really characterizes and develops. A strong character uh, that really just does this all for pleasure, like uh, Kyle was talking about. Um, he he d he captures your friends, he tortures you, um, killed your brother, and just laughed about it. And it's 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 just terrible. And you don't you don't know why. And that's what kind of eats at you the whole game, yeah. is that you're facing him and you're you're killing his henchmen. You're trying to like stop him, but you don't know why. Uh, what you know his ulterior motives to this. Yeah, and if if you haven't played Far Cry Three or Arkham City or Arkham Asylum, I highly recommend them. They're both fantastic games. They are both uh, they both were basically uh, Game of the Year uh, nominees. You know, they they could have won, but they're they're both very good games. And both come out a year apart. And another interesting thing, like we pointed out in the the previous video on our favorite video game heroes, is that these are both again open world games, which I think really it. Like I said before, it really just uh, immerses you in like the whole, uh, not just getting to know yourself like in the hero, but you get to know the enemy, you get to see his surroundings, what he's living with, why he's kind of doing this, and you get to kind of form your own opinion on why he's doing this. The developer might not always put it in the game, they put it for up to you to decide why you, know, why you think Voss is uh, trying to kill all the rebels and civilians, or why the Joker is... Uh, terrorizing the Arkham inmates, it, it's it's really interesting like that. Yeah, and and in games, we you want to know the hero and the villain, and when you get to know them, you really get. I mean, not 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 like a personal level, obviously. You don't know them in person, but you get to know them, and then you get to know the game. And then you, it just makes the game experience a whole lot better because you know that the the game makers actually put a bunch of time and thought towards the the uh, characters, the heroes and the villains. So then it, it just gives you more. Uh, likeability towards the game and just more respect for the the people who made the game. Right, and the last point I want to touch on is I think video games now these these Arkham City came out in 2011, uh, Far Cry just a couple months ago in 2012, um, but they're coming closer to movies where you wouldn't really see it in you know Super Mario days where you're just fighting Bowser, um, but you're seeing it now where the the heroes it's coming kind of a little bit more blurred where video game. Uh, stories are becoming blurred with uh, movie stories. They're yeah. becoming more realistic and more like yeah, scripts, scripts are being you mm -hmm. know added in there to make it more. Yeah, if Batman, Arkham City, or Red Dead Redemption 
were made into their own movies, they'd be one of the best movies in their respective genres. Red Dead Redemption would be an amazing Western, um, and Batman would be an amazing superhero movie. Yeah, so yeah. they're both solid games. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, like our vids. All right. Thanks, Thanks. for watching, guys.